Welcome once again to Monday Mina on this the 17th day of February in the year 2020. Today, He Leadeth Me. One of my favorite hymns in the hymn book is He Leadeth Me, O Blessed Thought. It just happens to be hymn number 81 in the Baptist hymnal where I attend church here at Rosedale Baptist Church. Today I'm going to give you a brief history on that hymn, He Leadeth Me, and how that hymn came about. In 1862, a 28-year-old college student by the name of Joseph Henry Gilmore was studying to be a pastor. He had preached many times, but he was not yet a pastor of any church. But Joseph got invited to speak at First Baptist Church of Philadelphia, quite an honor, I would say, wouldn't you? So he goes out of town and leaves his wife and family for just a little while and goes and preaches at First Baptist Church of Philadelphia. Now, he was nervous, as any of us would be nervous. But Joseph had put together an exposition on the 23rd Psalm. So he felt pretty comfortable with that, so that's what he did that day. He had done that many times. But when Joseph got down to those words in the 23rd Psalm, he leadeth me beside still waters. All of a sudden, he choked up. Everybody assumed he just got nervous or forgot where he was. But no, the Holy Spirit kicked in that day. And for the first time in Joseph's life, in preaching about Jesus Christ, those words, he leadeth me, begin to pound on his heart and speak to his heart. He got on through the exposition and preached that day and went home with the pastor. That afternoon, because Joseph was staying over for a couple of days till he could make his journey home, that afternoon, he sat down and penned the words and the lyrics to the hymn, He Leadeth Me. A couple of years later, Joseph was preaching at another church, and he got there early. He began to look through their hymn book to see what hymns they sung. Much to his surprise, he saw his lyrics, He Leadeth Me, in a hymn. He didn't understand. He had never given those lyrics to anyone. How did they get those? It had his name, Joseph Henry Gilmore. But it had music by William Bradbury. Well, long story made short, he got home and his wife had kept it a secret. But a couple of years before that, after Joseph had written these lyrics, they were so beautiful that his wife decided to give them to someone. And she gave them to William Bradbury. William Bradbury put the music to the song. Joseph Henry Gilmore wrote the lyrics. That's kind of how that song came about. There's more to the story. Joseph be went on to become a pastor. He went on to become come a, a, a professor at a university. Just great things happened in his life. If you can tolerate it for just a second, I'd like to sing this song for you. It's one of my favorite hymns. Then we'll come back and talk for just a second. He leadeth me, O blessed thought. <laughs> is 
question in closing today. Who's leading you? Something is leading you. You are following something. Anywhere there is a leader, there is somebody following that leader. What are you following after today? Who is leading you? It's just, is it your inner thoughts and your own desires and your own temptations? Or are you quiet enough to get beside those still waters that it talks about in Psalm? He leadeth me beside still waters. Are you quiet enough to forget the hustle and the bustle of this crazy world and listen to the Holy Spirit? I encourage you today to let those words hit you hard like they did Joseph Henry Gilmore. He leadeth me, O oh blessed thought. Folks, if you're going to follow something in this world today, it needs to be the guidance of Lord Jesus Christ. Let him be your leader. Let him be your guide. Follow him. Ask for his guidance. He leadeth me. He'll lead you in a path that is so unbelievable. He will bless you. He will touch you. Your life will be full. He leadeth me, O oh blessed thought. I'll see you guys again next Monday. Thank you so very much. When Jesus